Hey everyone, it's Khadija. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're coming back again, welcome back to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So today I'll be doing another backpack review, but this time instead of a school backpack, it's going to be a camera backpack. And I just wanted a bag that was bigger than the bag that came with my camera. It came with a little um, satchel and sometimes there's not enough room in that. So I was wanting to get a backpack for more efficiency. So let's hope that it works well. Let's see you guys. Let's get it in the box. comes in other colors such as gray, green, and blue. I believe there's one that's larger than this one. This one is 11 by 14.2 inches and the width is I think 5.5 and it says it weighs about 1.75, 1.74 pounds and it's called the Caden backpack. And I bought this off of Amazon. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's any other information you guys need to go in it. And I got it for $29.99. So $30 is not, not bad. If it does what it needs to do, of course. So let's get this bad boy opened up. Let's see. There's a lot of tape on here. Are y'all ready? Here's the reveal. So it's a nice little sleek backpack. You can see if it's focusing. Probably mm, won't focus on it. There it goes. So it has this part, it has the little pocket, and then it has this portion where you can secure the tripod. And then on this side, you can place your drink, your water, whatever you need for hydration. Then it has a zipper up front right here. So you can store anything, some SD cards, um, or maybe a small iPad, tablet, or something right there in that space. And then let's open her up. Oh, and it comes with two zippers. So, well, they usually do, don't they? <laughs> but these zip all the way down, all the way down on both sides, so you can get full view of what's inside. So it zips all the way down. And then, ta-da! And that's the inside. Has a, comes came with a letter. So this is the inside. It has many different compartment compartments where you can like store your stuff. They actually Velcro, so you can like you can move it and change the size and width of each compartment to fit certain things. Like if you have a longer lens, you can take this part off, put it right there. If you had a shorter one, make it shorter, do whatever you need to do. And you can also, if you wanted to use this as a school backpack, you could also remove all of these and just have it as a regular backpack. It just wouldn't have compartments. Oh, it has this one compartment. So this compartment might be more so for a tablet or so, or some type of electronic, this little pocket that's inside. So yeah, that's the inside. So I'm going to, well of course I can't put my camera in it because that's what I'm filming on. But typically I would stick my camera right here in this portion, in this area, and then I would put some lens, put my lens and everything else. So I'm going to stick some of my other stuff in here so, you, so I can demonstrate like, I guess how you can fit different things. I will also have this backpack linked below where you can go look at it on Amazon. Make sure you use my link because I get points when you use my link. 
and I'll make sure to link it below so you can go view it on Amazon and see all everything read the comments and everything like that so this is what I usually what I have been using for my bag snap it so it's just a little standard camera case satchel it's a little standard as you can see I just got everything kind of pushed in there and usually you can imagine also my cameras in here and then additional lens is usually in here so I usually make it work it still looks a little bulky but I make make it work so but I just wanted something with a little more space where I could really see everything that I have and wouldn't have to try to find stuff and I could have everything in clear view and um so we gonna see how it does so I have this lens right here and the width of this is about the width of well, the width of this lens so this lens fits completely in here it's just up a little bit this much but it still fits in where I can completely zip it and not hit the lens so if you can imagine this is how deep it is so I'm gonna sit that right there yeah it's deep enough where I could put two of those if I lay them flat down and I have my charger for my battery for both of them my batteries record this is what I usually keep my batteries in Set the camera. I have a bunch of this goes to my camera and the lens cap but I have a couple extra lens caps you know who it's small hood I got these little cool little lenses that are supposed to kind of I haven't used them but it's supposed to give it like a wide view see how cool that looks a wider view and I have another one that to be honest I don't know exactly what they do this is that one I need to put them on and try them out. And I have a little case for those. And, and here's my 50 millimeter. One of my favorite ones. It does great with bokeh. And these are little filter lenses that I haven't used, but hey, I have them, so why not add them in there? My speed, fl speed flash, speed light, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm not sure what this is or what it goes to. I don't know. Um, it's like a wristlet piece. Here's a hood from our smaller lens. Another lens cap. SD card holder. So this is kind of like a what's in my camera bag. SD card holder. Nope, it's always good to have a lens cleaner. Also for cleaning your lens solution. Another lens. Business card. Another cap. And a small SD card. Favorite. I like buttons, you guys. Look at this button. Ain't it so cool? I like 
like this but so I think that's everything that was in here and then on my camera now I have I know I have the Canon um, Rebel T6i and then the lens that I have on there is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens and I do hope to get I have a couple of lens lenses on my wish list but hey those prices are not for the faint so I'm working on getting a different one I I want the Canon EF 70 to 200 millimeter that's the top one and then I want to get a, an 85 millimeter so those are my next two purchases that I'm looking at and then of course you know get more stuff like back back dropping um, the, like the backdrops um, maybe some soft lights just more equipment to make it you know make a better setup because right now I have a ring light which does great but um when I when I get the space where I'm able to do more of a studio photography type setting then I'll get more stuff as that would allow me to you know that would allow me to do that like the like a lot of more backdrops, all the lighting, the indoor lighting, all that stuff to help create a good atmosphere. But until then, I'm going to work with what I got. It's like my hair. Just a little glammy glam time, glam glam time. I basically kind of just threw everything in here. I need to organize it, but I was trying to, you know, get it all in here. But you see how it all just fits in here, and you can see everything for the most part. I just need to put everything in this particular compartment and just, you know, go from there. Sorry, my hair's just getting all in the way. Like a lot of these little small things like this and these would be things that I would put in this little front pouch because it's just small. It's not anything I necessarily need. Like all these little additional lens caps because they're so small and thin. I can stick them up there. These are what I'm using. I can stick my button up here. remote which is supposed to allow me um, to click. this is supposed to allow me to be able to control my shutter but I can't figure out how to use it I figured it out one time but then I can't figure out how to use it now maybe the batteries are dead Who knows? so the lens that I'm currently have on the camera I probably like set this up let's see if I can get that how it sits up but the other side it will sit over here and then my camera my actual camera will go right here <laughs> so yeah so it overall feels like a nice backpack feels nice and sturdy I believe it's water resistant so that's good the only con is I don't think my tripod would fit right here. Like, if you can see, like, from here to here, my tripod is not that short. No. But overall, it seems like a nice bag. And we'll do everything that I need it to do. And I'm excited to see how it does, you guys. And thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to come back for more videos. Thank you guys. Bye.